Welcome to another episode of IMD Aviation Channel. A-10s were saved from retirement for years. The close support aircraft with its more than 57-foot wingspan has been an integral part of military operations since the 1970s. The distinctive brrrt noise from its 30mm Gatling-style gun not only protected troops in Iraq, Afghanistan, and the first Gulf War, but also garnered a passionate fan base among service members and lawmakers in Washington who fiercely defended it against retirement. For decades, the Air Force's attempts to retire the A-10s faced staunch opposition from Congress. However, in a significant shift, the 2023 NDAA finally allowed 21 of these iconic planes to retire, marking the first retirements of this aircraft in the 21st century. Introduced in 1972, the A-10 Thunderbolt, affectionately known as the Warthog, is a twin-engine subsonic attack aircraft purpose-built to provide close air support to ground forces. Unlike other aircraft, the A-10 has never been flown by any other country and remains the only operational U.S. aircraft designed from the ground up for close air support. Developed in response to the Soviet military's formidable tank force during the Cold War, the A-10 was specifically designed to eliminate Soviet armor. At its core lies the impressive GAU-8 Avenger rotary automatic cannon. Cannon fires both high explosive incendiary and armor piercing incendiary rounds at an astonishing rate of 3,900 rounds per minute. The armor piercing rounds even contain depleted uranium for increased effectiveness against enemy armor. Additionally, the A-10 can carry externally mounted missiles and smart munitions, such as anti-tank guided missiles. Operating in high threat environments at low altitudes and relatively slow speeds, the A-10 is designed to withstand punishment. titanium hull, it can endure direct fire damage from rounds up to 23 mm and indirect fire damage from rounds up to 57 mm. Remarkably, it can still fly with half its tail, half a wing, and just one engine and elevator. Maneuverability is a key feature thanks to its large wing surface, making it extremely agile at low altitudes and speeds. Designed for easy maintenance and capable of operating from short or improvised airstrips, the A-10's engines are strategically mounted high on the fuselage to mitigate damage during rough landings. Filling the A-10's shoes in conducting close air support at low altitudes is no small task. The F-35, armed with modern sensors, might enhance bomb accuracy in medium-altitude close air support. 
However, if friendly troops are in close contact with the enemy, the F-35 will need to fly lower and utilize its cannon. Much like the U.S. Marine Corps has learned to do with its F-35B, equipped with a rotary cannon, the F-35's firepower is formidable. Surpassing the 20 mi cannon on other U.S. aircraft, including the F-16, yet it falls short of the sheer strength of the A-10's Avenger. In the evolving landscape of close air support, the A-10 Thunderbolt stands as a symbol of resilience, firepower, and unwavering support for ground forces. Its legacy, though facing retirement, remains etched in the annals of military history as a testament to unmatched dedication in the field of close air support. Subscribe for more.